So in California, we've seen nine of the 10 biggest fires in California's recorded history since 2000. Um, and I'm sure everyone living in the state or nearby states around the world really because of stories like what happened in paradise can remember these fires. I remember thinking, is this what the world is gonna look like in 50 years? Is this the sort of place that I'm gonna raise my children in? This is occurring in California on a regular basis and we need to be thinking about how our healthcare system can not only respond but also prevent these types of catastrophes. As healthcare professionals, it is up to us to be able to care for our patients, to be able to be ready for our patients when they are faced with these challenges. We had a professor named Dr. Peter Chin Hong, who is an infectious disease expert here at UCSF. He made the connection for us between climate change and warming planet um, and the spread of infectious disease. I want to be prepared for how to treat these patients and not just people here in San Francisco, in the United States or the developed world, but I want to be able to bring our knowledge and our service to people that frankly didn't create this crisis but are the ones who are going to bear the largest burden of disease. I think, I hope, that there will be increasing advocacy from health professionals relating to climate change as they see the very real consequences in their practices and with their patients. Climate change is the biggest global health threat of the 21st century. We know what's coming. We need to do what we can to stop it for the sake of our patients.